Am I recording? Uh, well, seems to be recording. Okay. I am Graham Stewart today. <laughs> I'm in, uh, in my bedroom in, uh, in Baigorgina, which is about an hour and a half north of Barcelona. And I'm with this person here. Daniel Harris, and I'm currently sitting in Plymouth, <laughs> in a house. <laughs> and I think it's sunny outside, but I've got the windows, blinds closed. <laughs> yeah, I've got enough sun for both of us. I mean, it's, yeah, you know, it's great. great. So the intention of, uh, I'm not sure where the, the audience is, maybe you're over there, but the intention of this conversation with Daniel is to explore Kendra, which uh, is uh, one of Daniel's projects. And I met Daniel in 2007. In, uh, it was a big green gathering, as it was called. It, uh, I don't think that's still there. It's oh. a festival. Yes. And uh, we met in a log uh, in a field. On a log. Struck, on a log. <laughs> we, stopped, we struck up a conversation, got on well, a good connection. And then we've kept in touch. So that's 11 years now. And over the years, many conversations. But the uh, intention of this particular video is to ask Daniel questions about Kendra as if I'd never heard about it, uh, as if I'm an alien even to this, this species um, and asking maybe basic questions, but really to clarify exactly what is it, why is it useful? So I'll just I'll let you start talking, Daniel. What is Kendra? Okay. Well, I'm going to say Kendra as well, but Generally speaking, I'm I'm saying Kendra IO in the in the in the outer world because um, the uh, we I changed the name slightly because I wanted to differentiate it from just people called Kendra, right? and there are a lot of people called Kendra. So, but anyway, we can talk about Kendra, and that's fine. But if you want to search for it anywhere, it's always Kendra IO. It's one word. Anyway, what was the question? What is Kendra? <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? It's not. It's not a person. Okay. Its its length is um, around about twenty one years, and it dates back to when I was running an internet company uh, in the mid nineties, and then it became a research project, and it's all to do with improving the distribution of media over the internet and and giving money or not giving money, but but you know enabling artists creators to get paid for the, the work that they do that's essentially it how can we okay. make that better and that's so just, so that, just so that i heard you correctly is improving the distribution of media throughout the internet that's yeah. one thing yeah okay and the second thing is about the the distribution of the, of uh, of of money or whatever it is in recognition of that content yeah. making sure payment gets back to the the creators so um, perhaps a, a way to start then the next bit is to ask, so wh what is it, what's currently not right that requires improvement? Well, let's say everything is actually totally right, but it could just be improved upon. I don't want to say that things are wrong, but um, everyone's doing the best they can. <clears throat> and um, I, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, you know, a lot of ways into this. <clears throat> One way is identification of, of, of um, the, the connection between the owner and the creator and the actual asset and the actual image or um, video or song <clears throat> and who's actually participated in the collaboration of creating that asset. So all of those things are, th 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 there's, there's messiness around that information. That's currently how it is. It, it's not, okay. it's not really. So the, the, the system as it is that distributes things like videos, songs, any kind of media, maybe it's useful just to, to for you to delineate or just what is the list of media you mean Mm. And then what the current process by which they are being shared and, and, and why that's messy. So and an example would be useful. So perhaps start with okay. yeah, yeah. What, what, what are the media content pieces or what you call assets? 
Yeah. Uh, first of all, let's let's just say we're talking about digital stuff here. Okay. Gen digital. Generally digital speaking, um, because it's kind of easier for us to deal with it in using technology. Uh, so we're talking about songs, audio, video, film, images, text. Um, and when we talk about... Does that include, sorry, um, SMS and emails and WhatsApp messages, things like that, for example? Don't see why not. We're not concentrating on that, to be honest. Okay. Um, uh, and it's not that we're not... And it, it's not that we're saying this has to be produced, we're only concentrating on stuff produced by professionals. It's not that. Um, it, it's, we don't really want to create a system that is for one particular set of people. It should be anyone who's creating or anyone that owns. Okay. So, so, so say Daniel's written a song in Plymouth, yeah. Graham's got a document in Spain, there's yeah. a guy in Germany yeah. who's got... Yeah. Okay, and we've created this content. Yeah. 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 And at the moment, to be honest, I've just become a member of the PPL and the PRS. Um, I, I write. And what are they? What's that? Okay, PPL is a. Um, I'm going to get this wrong now, aren't I? Uh, anyway, it's a nice organization. This is really bad. And the PRS is the Performing Rights Society. And these okay. guys collect. Um, uh, money on behalf of artists for either performance or composition and um, and uh, so <clears throat> uh, yeah as, a, as, a, as an artist well as a, as a fledgling artist I've written a couple of songs and I've recorded them and I um, so I'm sort of like playing the game of seeing what it would be like to actually register these with these copyright societies collection societies mm -hmm. And um, I'm trying to think what the PPL is, but I'll, I'll Google it later. It's really okay. easy. All PPL right. UK. Okay. PPL. <laughs> anyway. Um, so what was the question? <laughs> so they, they, they are agents that work on behalf of artists who go out and try and, and yeah. basically get you the money for what you they're create. Part of, they're part of the equation that, you know, okay. you, you will see when you go into a restaurant, PPL, PRS, most restaurants, radio stations, establishments that play music out to masses in one form or over another, um, collect money from these establishments and um, the copyright societies collect money and then they funnel it back to artists based on a pro rata basis. Again, that's, that's where something could be improved rather than it being um, a guess on on who's actually being played in these restaurants or radio stations, that it's actually exact. And that's being improved upon all the time. So, uh, you know, just to, just to say these things are being improved upon. It's not as if it's not as if it's been, the world is static and it's, it's things aren't being improved, that things are being improved. Um, and so, so that's one part of, of, of the, where, where, uh, the collection chain. And then there's record labels which take some of them the money then funnel it back to the artists or 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 not depending on what their contract is whether they've got a massive advance or a little advance and they're paying off that advance um, and that's just in the music world and then there's a whole set of other collection societies in the in the you know the film okay. industry the video industry the image the whole you know it's, it's so. And, and, and to be honest, I'm not an expert in all sectors uh, and I'm not an expert even in one sector. I'm just kind of trying, trying to take a broad look at these things and seeing what the generic functionality that we have and um, seeing how we can, where can we provide some glue to make things better? So I can, I can, I can visualize if I zoom out from the earth and I'm looking yeah. down at the earth, I can see all these people all over the world creating stuff. Yeah. Content. yeah. And then there's all these different players, groups, people all over the world that are involved in taking that and then yeah. either it's money or whatever yeah. and people watching it, consuming it. And then that whole system is like, wow, it's what trying to make that function as well as possible for everyone 
<laughs> when we're all over the world, different languages, different time zones. Wow. Well, the, the, the thing is, the thing is, even people trying to map what is currently going on is an absolute. It's like, oh my god, you know. And you know, people do it for the music industry, but then there's all these other sectors going on. It's it's incredibly complex. Yeah. And so like if you if you use a song in a film, and then yeah, a, right. an image is used from that other person over there and it's like well where is that guy we can't find him he, he doesn't yeah. exist in the internet yeah. anymore yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so trying to find who's the actual owner trying to find, ask permission for getting rights to actually use my song in a smoking advert or a meat advert or whatever you know it's like is this even how do i find this person or that image can i use this image in there and i need to get a great agreement so all of these are issues that, that are currently plaguing the industries and um it, it, it really slows things down it slows innovation down it slows uh potential revenue down uh, or why, why does it why does it slow innovation down because people just give up on trying ah, to okay. get, get you know get agreements because um it's, it, it just ends up being too costly to even get the agreement. So well, let's just not do it then, you know. So, so what you're saying is that there are many wonderful songs or films or, or images that could have been made aren't because people just thought, oh, what's the point? I can't even, I, it's, it's too hard. And therefore, if I have to make decisions about how I spend my time, it's like, no, I just better do that rather than bother with that because it's too um, complex. You know, I don't have examples, but I wouldn't be surprised if certain things... Okay. If people want to be uh, legitimate and legal, then they they understand that, that that these are issues. I mean, of course, and there's of course a whole other swathe of um, creativity where the rights aren't being asked for, and uh, they're just mm -hmm. producing the content, and it's you know generally white labels or whatever that that, that don't have any don't even have the creator's name on it um, just so that it protects them against okay. being litigated by the people who, that they've sampled, for instance. Okay. So Kendra Ayo, your aim has always been, I'd like to help sort of all consistently improve the system over time. Yeah. So, and, and we've looked at various different ways of where's the problem, where's, where do we need to add the glue? And in the current so, so I need to talk about a bit about the whole um, blockchain hype a little bit. Just, just to say that, that, that it's been quite recent. I mean, we've been banging on about this for, like I say, 21 years, about let's build a protocol for the music industry, for the film. Actually, we started with film <laughs> back in those days. And so let's build... So and what you mean is that digital, digital agreements sort of structure? Yeah, let, let's build... build Let's, let's encode not only the description of the assets as in a standard format. Okay. And, and there are, uh, yeah, I'll come back to that. And, and, but also let's encode the business logic and the business methodology into a kind of a, a, a format. And I'm calling these formats open protocols because that's, I, I grew up in the mid 90s. Well, I didn't grow up in the mid 90s. I, 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 I came across the internet and that was my first sort of like hit with um, uh, my, my introduction into kind of networking and stuff like that, having previously come from the video and art kind of world. Um, and so, so the internet's obviously an open protocol. That's, that's the basis of it. So I became an, an open protocol evangelist, really. Um, so... <clears throat> okay, so, so what's happening now is there's lots of people and businesses creating new distribution systems. And, and, and the temptation is, my God, look at that <laughs> cluster mess that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's happening right now. It's so complicated. But the fact, it, 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 the fact is it is actually working for a lot of people. People are getting paid. Perhaps there's a lot of disgruntled, it's not fair, and I totally you know, could hear those, but, but there, there, there is money being exchanged, there's money being paid, and people getting money and people living. Perhaps it's skewed, perhaps towards the, 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 the more well-known artists, you know, whatever, you know, 
um, I, I'm just saying perhaps there because I don't know for sure and it's not my beef particularly I just want to see a fairer system and a, and a more transparent system and a, and a one that, that works for, for so everyone. It's, it's fairer, it's more transparent, it's yeah. open protocols yeah. and it works for everyone. So everybody yeah. wins. Yeah. But there's a lot of new systems that come along, especially those based on the blockchain, saying let's just build something totally new and forget about the old ways, which is great, 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 great. Um, so there's a couple of things around that. So it, it's... It, again, it's not to diss anything those guys are doing. It's 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 trailblazing and it's really necessary. Um, but it also leaves the people that are currently actually in the old system a bit kind of like wondering what to do. So, and I'd just uh, like to say this is not the video to go into blockchain. That's a that's a different. No, no, I, and I, I don't want to, and I'm not really skilled enough to anyway. You know. Um, I just got to point that out, and and and. Um, so, so what we're left with is a lot of old world kind of difficult stuff to um, sort of uh, navigate, difficult ways to navigate. It's complicated to join the PPL and the PRS. I've just done it. And it's like, it's a lot of paper pushing. And I did it because I'm motivated to do it. But a lot of artists that I know who... Uh, just maybe they've released one or two albums. They, they just don't bother, you know. And and um, so so those kind of rights are passing them by. Um, and and if you are small time as an artist, then really it, it's like it's probably it might not even be worth you doing it to to register with those old systems for copyright collection. And um, you know maybe there's a, there's a there's a point at which okay now I'm making enough. I'll register and claim more of my rights. And um, that, that, that's fair enough. But I guess um, I would like to make it easier for people to get, gain access to all of that, <clears throat> all of that opportunity. So, so you're, you're basically so, what, so one thing, just, just to be clear, is that to help make all the, the registration process, the administration, yeah. all of that yeah. bit much easier. Yeah, exactly. So, like I said, Kendra IO has been around for 21 years. We haven't always been doing the same thing, been looking at different areas. Um, you know, we, we looked at, started building a semantic wiki before the semantic web had really taken off and, and it, it, interesting, a distributed semantic wiki. And interestingly enough, <laughs> we're kind of going back to that in a way, in some respects. That, there's still a lot of areas we're covering. Covering. So, so that's only one aspect. But I'll I'll try and give you a kind of an, mm. a, a kind of an indication of what we're looking at now. It's where can we see that providing benefit? So, Kendra IO is a non-profit company releasing open source software and always giving it away for free. We are not seeking to have clients and therefore have no income based on our output we get we are funded by grants from uh the european union and at the moment google and hopefully many more philanthropic organizations in the future and that's that's part of my remit is to fundraise and um and crowdfund as well and so we are create what well, our, our, it, through all of our kind of like, what should we do? How do we help? Is like, let's create an application that lets artists and content owners. I, I kind of munch, our, the, the creator isn't always the owner and the owner isn't always the creator. Mm -hmm. So, I, But I just lump them all in together because that's the person in control of those assets. You know, sometimes the creator will have sold their rights, some of their rights to, to the things that they create to an owner. And, and so I'm not going to get into if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just the way it is. So we provide tools to let they, them administer those assets. And, yeah. You Can you pause? Pause, 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 pause. Pause it. Recording. Recording, we are. Um, yeah, so we're looking at where can we provide help and so what we've done is we've built this um 
application, or we're building an application, or we're designing an application, I should say, uh, that for for the for the artists and owner of of their assets for, to allow them to administrate their their creations, the assets of the own, and also the metadata around that. And what's interesting around this is the more we get into this kind of like idea, the more we're kind of seeing how there's so many repeat tasks that have to happen for the, 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 the administrator of, of, of these assets to get them out to shops, to get them onto, um, into copyright societies, to get the, get the sales reports back, to visualize them. There's so much, there's such a lot of effort. And there are, there are um, aggregators that help with, those, with, with that effort as well. So um, there are services that do, that, 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 that assist in that process. But um, what we want is for an application that can, can, that can integrate with all of those services, but where the, the creator owner is in control of the master data. So they don't give it to someone else and then that someone else loses it or whatever or goes bust or whatever, but they keep all of the master data. And in, in, from what we've seen, that seems to be the kind of like uh, something that will really help um, artists sort of be in control of their, of their, of their digital lives, you know, in, in a way. Um, so, so kind of like, you know, doing this kind of thing, it's like the hoot suite for, for, dig, for digital media in the sense you're able, you know, do you know hoot suite? It's the, the thing that, that, you know, you can, you can post, it's a very good system for managing social networks. So you can just chuck stuff out to multiple networks at the same time, for instance. So that's what we want to be able to do is publish a song to multiple um, places uh, with the press of a button. And again, that's what um, these aggregator services do. But if but we want to give choice so that you can use the aggregator services if, if you want, or you could do it yourself if you are really, really want to, you know, if you really want to put the time in to do it yourself. Um, or if the cost, if, if cost is an issue for you. Um, and also, again, visualizing sales reports. Um, and what's interesting about that, once you have the master data, then you can play with the old world. You can also play with the new world as well. You can, you can, you can put a few songs up onto this new blockchain system that someone has just created and the next one and the next one and the next one. You can see which one works for you. And so because what will, the, the application will be a pluggable system. So, so we'll, be a, we'll be creating plugins for any of these new services that come online as long as they have an API, <laughs> right? So if they, and an API is an application programmable interface. So as long as they've got some kind of way of connecting to, as long as these service providers have some way of connecting to another kind of a machine, then we'll be able to plug into it. And what, so what we want to end up with is an application that has hundreds of plugins for all of these different services where the artist is kind of sitting with this massive array of like, you know, super, you know, you just imagine that kind of like loads of screens everywhere looking at their digital assets, just, just seeing performances, the performance of how they're actually working, but they're in the center. So user centric computing is so important for us that that's kind of watchword that, that we place the user in the center of the experience. It's no longer, and, yeah. Yeah, and the, the theme of, of all of this really is, is what you say. It's that the individual, mm. I, have, I, can, uh, I have control and much more uh, what, what I do with my, uh, my creations. Yeah. I would say just as a basic thing, whatever I create, I can put it out there. I can see what's happening to it, yeah. but it always comes back to me. So it's not that I have to then sell something to somebody else who then takes all control and, I, and suddenly it's all gone. Yeah. 
And in a way, as you're talking, I was imagining in my in my mind's eye two images of one is a it's like a system of pipes, yeah. you know, in a very badly plumbed house where suddenly the water can't go to that room because there has to be some mm. sort of negotiation between seven people that takes a week. Yeah. And then it, and it just can't flow nice and simply and easily. And, oh, sorry, the whole mm. thing crashes because that person hasn't paid that person. Mm. Yep. So you're trying to create this fluid system where, and I, I'm presuming you're saying that the most fluid way is that it's free in terms of, uh, well, not free, but the how you, yeah, maybe you can answer that question so that what, what makes it more fluid, what makes it more innovative yeah. and what I, makes it easier? Yeah, at the moment, we're just um, looking at one particular issue. Well, we're looking at a number of issues, but the, the, we're, um, so there are currently hundreds, if not thousands of service providers for all of these different, you know, the image sector, the video sector, the, 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 the music sector. And they're doing a wonderful job of distributing content, bringing back statistics about what's happening. What we're doing is interfacing to those systems. So as, an, as a user, you will still have to have a, an account with those service providers. Some of those accounts may be free. Some of those accounts may be paid for. Um, some or maybe an up one cost, one uh, one up payment, or an ongoing annual fee. It's not what, what the Kendra IO app will only just facilitate that. Th those those interactions more easily. It's 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 um, it's essentially an intelligent browser that you know a web browser. You do all of your transacting with your bank, your service providers, you know, through your browser. The web browser is basically a way of, um, you know, form filling and pushing, you know, get, pushing content out and bringing content back. That's, that's what it does. Um, what we're doing is basically taking that um, concept to, 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 to another level. Okay. And we're, we're basically saying, well, we're adding a bit more int an intelligence level a layer into this where we're, within the browser we're kind of we're aggregating functionality so if you want to publish we know what that means and we can publish out to a set of service providers if you want to bring back a sales report we know what that means and we're going to poll you know spotify and itunes and youtube to see what your how your assets are, are performing so yes. mm -hmm. so um the free the free aspect in terms of money is totally going to be up to the service provider and the user to negotiate. So, so the Kendra IO app is not is not getting in way of that. We're just going to make that easier. For, for instance, um, within the app, there'll be a configuration page that says, "Do you want to join iTunes? Do you want to join, um, uh, you know, Bandcamp or Reverb Nation or whatever?" And you tick the boxes, and it will sign. The app will be able to sign up for you because the app will already have your details. So, and we'll know how to fill those forms. So instead of you having to fill up a form saying, yeah, my name is, and I've done this before, you know, the app will just do it with one click. Awesome, huh? That's what really excites me, is that it, what we're trying to do is just take the drudgery out of being an artist, because you, you want to create. You don't want to be spending your life doing admin. That's, that's a great phrase. I want to take the drudgery and the admin out of being an artist. It's yeah. The, because I've met, in my life, I've met many artists who, are amazing at the creation bit, yeah. But then nothing ever happens because they, they just can't meet the right person right. Uh, or the right people. And then others who say they haven't learned how to monetize their creativity or how to, yeah. but maybe they're not good at that. Whereas, yeah. and then someone they find is exploits them or whatever. Yeah. So, okay. So this really puts the individual in control, and it's easier. Yeah. I could yeah. just say. Do all that and then and whatever and the statistics I get back, I can then look at that and say, oh, I'm going to untick those boxes and yeah. reconfigure and all that. Great. And furthermore, you can delegate certain aspects. And I just thought of this actually that that, 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 that you can delegate aspect. Well, this was always in there that would, you can delegate aspects like managerial or you know certain functionality like like curation or. Um, you know, making sure your metadata or you're putting your lyrics in or whatever. It's just, you, you, can, you can have users working, you can have fans working for you. You can delegate roles in there. Also, why not 
have a marketplace for that. There's a lot of people out there that just want to help and that could do it quite cheaply. So you can say, yeah, I'm going to buy five hours from this person to help me get my stuff out there to do some marketing. So you can play with marketing in a very, you know, if you've seen these like, I'll do a logo for you kind of websites or those kind of things, you know, Fiverr and those kind of places where you can just get a very small task done for a specific cost. That's another thing that we'll have within this is that you'll be able to get um, help just for a specific cost. And that then what, again, what that means is that you can get a leg up. You can then evaluate, okay, that 50 quid. Yeah, that, I see that that helped. I think I want to go a bit more in this direction now. So you'll be able to play with that. Whereas at the moment, if you want to um, do those kind of things, uh, setting that up is like, I need to find the right person. But yeah, actually, I'm just riffing on this right now. We can have reviews about the people that can help support artists with their with their with more of the markets yeah. and i'm sure so and basically what's happening <clears throat> is the capacity to so for example i'm sitting here i've just uh we made this video and i <clears throat> go all right i've got 50 quid who can uh turn this into blah 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 put it on all these channels and right. do all that within by right. five o'clock right and right. It, it matches the needs my need with yeah. someone who can fulfill that need now yeah. And I can just add them, I can give them a role, give them some kind of permissions to give them access to my content because it's my stuff. And, and, and then they can go and do the job and I still own everything. And I've not given away any of my rights. They've just done a service for me and I've paid them. Ba boom, done. And, and Okay, so what if I'm, I'm a penalist artist living in a bed sit and uh, but I've got so much talent and I've got all these gifts and I can sit in my room and sing and well, write. How many... How many crowdfunding systems are there out there? And, and okay. again, it comes down to time. Maybe I just don't have the time. But if I just click the button crowdfund, okay, it's not always going to be as simple as this, obviously. But there's a lot of admin and, and paper pushing when it comes to form filling. And if, if the app already has your details and already knows about your, your, your releases already or your, the, things, the assets that you put in there, then building these campaigns is going to be a lot easier. It's not necessarily going to be totally one button, but we can get to that point. And then maybe we can yeah. say, maybe there'll be people out there that says, hey, I can help you. I'll do it on a, um, a percentage basis. So you don't need to put any money up front. This is really exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm actually it is. And, and in my imagination, what, what you're going <laughs> towards and what I hope in the future, maybe Kendra I O will build it is, is the... Uh, is uh, what Ian M. Banks wrote about in The Player of Games. It was a scientific, futuristic idea about The Player of Games. Mm. And basically what it was was that every individual had their own uh, sort of mini droid that was basically, right. uh, had its own energy system. Yeah, and, right. it, and it knew everything about you because it had basically, it understands you just as well as you do. And you go, right, I'm, and it says, right, you're doing this. Okay, I'll sort it out. Yeah. And that was it. I'll deal with it. <laughs> Is that, is that the one where the whole planet goes into flames or something at the end? No, what happens is that the, the, this particular planet's best game player, who, okay. who, who's so bored because he's won every game. He, right. It's like Sherlock Holmes and writes amazing monographs about every game. What happens yeah. is that he's approached from a future planet saying, um, we found you from the solar system. You are the best player in this system. Right. We need you to come and play an hour game. It will take you five years to learn it. It takes right. five years to get there. Yeah. But the whole game is to see who's the emperor of that planet. <laughs> if, if, if you win the game, you're the emperor. And if you lose any level, you will, uh, you'll be dead. <laughs> so he's like, wow, that's the game I want to play. <laughs> so it's sort of a metaphor of everyone who's playing. Are we ultimately all trying to play for the emperor of the world? And uh, you know, is that the ultimate game that some people are playing? <laughs> And the the punishment's death. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so it's an amazing. And but the, this droid, <laughs> I don't think thing, that's going in the app. <laughs> no, I, maybe maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe maybe next year. But the the idea would be that Kendra, uh, this this uh, this thing, which is what you're saying, is is yeah. you can just say I want to do this, and it will go and do a lot of the work for I, you because it's already I, been done. Yeah, I think I think for for known tasks. Yeah. I, I, Personally, I don't want to get into AI. <laughs> um, 
I, I just want it to be, you know, like for, for, for known tasks. Um, I mean, well, I guess. You don't, you don't, sorry, you don't want to get into AI on this on this conversation, or in no, I, I don't know. I, you know, um, I, I, it, when it comes down to it, I guess all computing is AI to some degree. You know, mm -hmm. I, I think. Um, uh, I mean, it's just just this idea that something is just going to run your life for you without you even having to say. Uh, to be honest, I'm personally very into. I'm very much into. Um, people making explicit decisions about what they want rather than being second guessed by computers. I, 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 so, so for me, I, you know, like publish this song to these places, press button, see, and uh, yeah, quite nice. See the graph of how it's going because yeah, just speaking to um, Darren, our developer, one of our developers uh, yesterday, we're talking about, we actually going to have to track, when we click publish, we're gonna to have to have like tracking because the whole system is so complex. We're gonna to have to monitor how each song is doing as it flows through the distribution systems and like, is it actually published yet, you know? Um, so yeah, yeah. Cool. In, in, interesting. And I would say that, you know, if there, there's, there are lots of technical terms in, in the conversation we've had or, or, or mainly, no, I've, I haven't said that much, but there are cer certain people, I don't know who's listening to this, but certain yeah. people's heads might be spinning. Or, and I think this is one of the challenges about visualizing the internet and visualizing what's possible and visualizing mm -hmm. what people are actually doing yeah. in different places. Because I know I, I've, I've watched some of the conversations and there are, and we've talked about this before, is that there are people in different countries building platforms for, yeah. for this or for that, and they yeah. are, using a certain language and trying yeah. to say, we come and work here with us. And they'll say, no, yeah. come over here. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, how, a, how do we yeah. not compete with each other to leave all that code lying around like a mess? Yeah. That, that, that's, that's happening a lot at the moment. The, you know, pro, the thing I'm picking up on is that there's a lot of new systems coming online, which is awesome. But it, for me as an artist, uh, with my two songs, um, it's, it's confusing. Like where, so, so I just want to put them all my songs on every platform, right? Um, and and, and yet, yeah, again, that's kind of where I'm. I'm. I'm really excited about using the Gendra IO app, just because just because I I can get all the stuff out there. I, um, uh, and 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 so so I, I think having all of these new systems is useful. You know, like I said before, I think earlier that they're, they're, they're trailblazing. That they're they're um, they're, they're every one of them is having a new kind of like uh, take on what should happen. And, um, and I, I think it, it would be a shame if, if, you know, these were all dumbed down into one system. I think it, it's good that, that, that there's, yeah. kind of, uh, but, but it does create a bit of a fractured marketplace that, that consumers don't know where to go. And, and, um, and also who to trust because if there's so yeah, much stuff, yeah, yeah, you've yeah. no idea who's behind it. Yeah. yeah. Well, interestingly enough, some of the underlying stuff that we've identified is the need to have you know, trust metrics that are personalized in a lot of the decisions we make. So um, I'll explain that in a second, but there's, there's also around verif verifying that stuff that is being said is true, which is a similar aspect to that. We also got funding from the Google Digital News Initiative about um, verifying true stuff. Rather than trying to find fake news, we're trying to verify true stuff. And so we're, we're looking at a lot of ways that we can sign assertions, sign statements, so digitally sign, so people digitally sign statements about a particular asset, like a photograph or a song. So like, this song contains these five performers and, and the five performers sign it. And because, so it comes, there's also another aspect which is ident identity. So these are other kind of like, kind of aspects of this system that need to be solved. And again, Kendra IO is not gonna be an identity provider. It will not be, you know, the sayer of truth. 
and it will not be signing stuff that it says that it, that it thinks is true. What we'll be doing is building into the kind of app ecosystem a kind of a uh, methodologies for hooking into existing and future identity providers and you know existing kind of places of the, that are kind of like saying that they they are like the the place where truth resides for example um uh, if you've heard of music brains it's kind of like an online catalog you know and then there's other uh, on, on, on the kind of a, on basically lots of metadata around songs and artists and um there's other places like that 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 mm -hmm. that that people will want to refer to, you know, Wikipedia and so forth. But I just want to say that as well, that, that again, uh, Kendra IO's non-profit, open source, everything that we do is given away. And also that um, it's a, what we're doing is a reference implementation. So we're not expecting for the Kendra IO app to be the only app that's out there that is kind of very much the glue between all these different services. Or, or, or a dashboard front end, mm -hmm. but we, but we want to get that notion out there. We want to get people building stuff user centric. So I want to promote that um, concept. So we just have to build it. Um, and, and I hope that other people, organizations come along and start building dashboards as well that for, um, for artists and content owners. That's, that's great. And thereby build, open protocols and again again lots of open, open protocols exist already there are formats for pictures and video and songs and um, these things exist already and it's about tying them all together and making them into a coherent system and um, again this is very much about letting the users choose which one they want to use yeah um, okay yeah. Yeah. Does that makes sense. Well, it does to me. <laughs> and I'll never know if, who, whoever's watching this, if, they, if, if, if that's made sense to them. Yeah. I think one of the hardest things about this is the audience is everybody because yeah. this, is, this is important for everybody. Yeah. Um, and it's just that many people have very different degrees of understanding around the language, around the... Yeah being able to visualize. I mean, you say words like iTunes, suddenly people can instantly imagine what yeah. that means. Whereas distributed semantic wiki, <laughs> that, that, that may not be something that people do. <laughs> what? what? Just, 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 forget, just forget that one for the moment. Forget that bit. Put that in the mix. <laughs> but the, uh, the, the sense of, uh, I, mean, I, can, I can feel it. And I think for me, as part of the work I do, I believe in the world is to is to tell stories uh, yeah. about about what's coming through, yeah. and be able to relate that. So I could like tell Susanna or my sister or mm. or you know not my parents. But I think that's too far to try and explain what <laughs> what this is all about when they can't use a mouse. So <laughs> basically, basically, it's it's knowing who your audience is and adapting to be able to say, listen, you know, when you do that, that, and that, and it's just such a headache yeah. and administration. And mm. This is going to sort that out. That's all you need to know. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Cool. Okay. Do you feel fulfilled? Do you need more questions? No, I think I think that's probably a good first okay, can we... for anyone who's listening. And I'd say if okay. people have questions, then get in touch via you know just type Kendra IO into the browser into the browser and um, find a way of getting in touch with me and others in the project Facebook. Yeah. And I'm I'm really happy, like, and not and not maybe not in the next few weeks because I'm moving house, but generally in the next six months in period, I think the finding ways to host regular conversations that continually yeah. enlighten yeah. people and clarify yeah. when the questions come back, saying that whole bit, can you please clarify that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, awesome. Can we pause though and do okay? That's the end of that. I need to put the washing out. I will turn off the. <laughs> Well, you can cut that off at the end, or you can leave it in. It's quite a nice thing. I like thing. the washing up. I like <laughs> no, not the washing up. The hang hanging the washing out. Okay, I'll stop this now. And I'll be back in uh, 